Happy Wednesday, everyone. It is the last day of May. Tomorrow's June 1st. So in regards to that, I just want to say, I don't say this enough, how much I appreciate uh, everybody watching and also especially a big thank you to all the premium members. I know many of you are premium members. If you need to know about that, there's a link down below. But basically, it's you get free router bit sharpening and you get a free template every month. But um, I, we really appreciate you guys. You know, I know that many of you that are premium members Members that don't send your router bits that in that often to get sharpened but there it's always available to you so send those in if you've got dull router bits I'll definitely sharpen for you for free so that's uh, what you're paying for on that premium membership or the biggest part yeah and you get a five percent discount on anything that you buy any products okay so um, today's gonna be I apologize in advance if it's gonna be a little bit long but I wanted to do a demo this is something I've been wanting to do for a while now we've got our new studio and I'm loving it and uh, there's a lot more room a lot more opportunity to do demos and that's really what I want to do in fact Friday we're gonna have something really special so um, what I want to do this so this is based on a question from Rich Gentry it says Eric um, on any oval sign cutting the inner circle to create a half inch frame around a sign uh, seems difficult I've seen you do videos on cutting long straight lines have you ever done anything on cutting long curved lines any tips uh, that you can that you have would be greatly appreciated appreciate it rich gentry so here's what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna actually do a demo on that and so if if you've got say a round one of these big rounds that look all right um, like I've said in the past um, you can use your use your hand I'm just gonna take this all the way up so it's not there's no no depth on that bit so if you've got a round and let's say for instance we're coming in an inch something like that you can always use your use your finger as a guide I'm not going to cut this because I want to save this uh, for a, a future project and I don't want to waste the material underneath there so. yeah so what I'm doing is that my hand is underneath oh, I'm sorry my hand is underneath and my fingers are actually riding on the edge of that board and you've seen me do this on on st long straight lines but if I was for instance going to carve a, a a line on this however far in it's going to be oh here I can turn it this way babe I'm sorry however far in it's going to be I can just you know have my kind of put my hand on my base there and have that running along the edge and that will help me keep uh, a fairly consistent line again I'm not going to carve this because I want to save this for a future project uh, probably a, um, a collaboration of some kind but here's what I did I picked out a piece of junk material uh, we built our our shed here our studio out of two by sixes two by six frames and I just went out to the scrap pile and tried to pick the ugliest board I could find this is probably a piece of uh, Douglas fir I'm assuming something like that but it's definitely construction um, and I'm gonna carve a, a long curved line in this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take you know as an example I'm gonna take just my base off uh, just something that's got a long curved line on it and I can look at this board it's not that wet but I can look at it and see these grains are gonna want to jump on me I, I mean there's just no doubt in my mind so I'm gonna just draw a line a curved line here and use that as kind of an example to go by so there's my let's say I got to carve that line as a border or again if you've got a, a sign that's around or it's got a curve to it if you can use your little trick of your hand underneath writing on the edge of the board that's great in this particular instance we don't have that advantage so uh, <laughs> tips I, and I could go on probably for an hour on this but first tip is make sure that your board now this thing's got probably some pitch in it and some just terrible uh, surface so I'm just going to take a, some kind of a sandpaper and try and give myself as smooth a surface as I can 
to make sure that nothing's going to make my router base stick. That's number one. Number two, then I'll take my stiff bristle brush, which is down there. Down there. Thank you. And I'm going to wipe off any any excess on there. Now, if there was ink on there or spray black, I would. <laughs> I would be doing the same thing. So that gives me uh, a good a good surface. Now I want to make sure that my router is going to slide. My router base plate is going to slide. So I'm going to put some silicone on my router base plate. So I'm going to wipe that off. And again, this is this is all stuff I've gone over before, but it's always good to kind of review it, especially if you're watching one of our videos for the first time. So I'm just going to put a little silicone on there and just wipe it off. Now I'm using silicone spray lubricant, but you could be using uh, furniture polish. Heck, you can use oil, three-in-one oil, anything that, that is going to make that go. You can use a cooking spray, any number of different things. Just just what I happen to have. Um, all right, and then I wiped off the excess. So now I know I've got a good surface. I've got a good router base plate that's going to slide for me. Now, the next tip that I've got is really critical. Remember, the shallower the cut that you make, the easier it's going to be to do. So this is this is something that's really critical if you're trying if you only got like one shot at this, it's really critical. Remember, the shallower the cut that you make, the easier it's going to go through your board. So, that being said, if I want this thing to be say an eighth of an inch or or three sixteenths deep or whatever, I'm going to make multiple passes on it in order to give myself. Number one, I'm using uh, I'm using my sixty degree V groove. That bit cuts really amazing. That's if you have a possibility or the 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 option of using the 60 degree V groove bit, that's the best one to do a line like this for. The profile bit cuts good, but it doesn't cut as good as the 60 degree V groove. And if you've just if you're just making a single line, then um, I'd go with the 60 degree. It cuts super, super good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it at just almost like almost like a scribe for the for my first cut um so i'm gonna i'm gonna guess i don't have my little um my little uh, gauge out here but i am gonna that's a little too deep but i actually i probably do have a gauge should have been more prepared for that where's my router bit gauge babe router bit depth gauge you don't know you knew where you knew where the brush was Oh, you can't see the router bit depth gauge? Me neither. All right, well, then we're just going to wing it, as I always do. So I'm about that deep. You want me to hold that? Tell me where the... You're fine. I'm about that deep. I would say it's maybe a 16th. Heck, it might be a 32nd. Or he's moving away too fast, you guys. He's going to get clobbered when he's Sorry. There. Sorry, guys. I'm going to plant my, keep my cord. Oh, I got to turn that around, don't I? All right. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. I think I better shut up and do it. That's even too deep.
So, you'll notice that I did several different things there. You notice I kept moving the, the board around, and you, you will notice, I'm sure, some of you that were really paying attention, when I hit those grains, just like I thought, it was trying to grab on me, and you can see little bobbles in there. Here's another tip. There's lots of tips here, but here's another tip. Remember guys, this is freehand carving. This is never going to look perfect. You just want to give yourself the best chance possible for, for the best that you can do. Uh, maybe you're going to do it as good as I am. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to do it better than I do it. But cut yourself some slack. It's still freehand. You're not doing this with a CNC. So that's, that's a big tip that it took me a long time to to get. Now, the other thing is, you'll notice that when I was doing this, and I don't know whether Vic had her, had the camera or could see, I don't know how far she was zoomed in, but when I was cutting this line, I'm not going to turn the router on right now, I had my hands on the board and I had my finger against the, the base here that would, would give me a a really nice solid form of reference. So anytime I can have my fingers at the edge of this base to where I'm touching the, the board and the base at the same time and it, you know there's a lot of different techniques for doing this but this is that what I found that works the best for me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and my first cut is made. What's the matter? Are we doing a half hour show today? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Hello. No, I'm just I kidding. told you it was going to be long. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut probably about twice as deep. So I might be down in there about a sixteenth by now. Maybe an eighth even. Boy, I was right. It's a tough one. Really a tough board. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make one more pass at it. Uh, but man, that thing is. These grains are just hard as a rock, and then they're soft in between. And that's the hardest thing. Any of you that have been doing it for a while, you know that's the hardest thing to do. And a curved line, there's just nowhere to hide. So I'm gonna go one more depth di deeper. And again, I apologize for this being so long, but I'm hoping that it's worth it for you guys. This is, uh, all right, so I'm going just one more pass. Hopefully I won't mess this thing up. If I do, you guys will never see it. <laughs>
Okay, a couple more tips. You'll notice, if you go back and watch this, you'll notice at, if I ever stop, if I ever stop the router, I'm out of the wood. Don't ever stop the router, uh, stop moving the router and stay there. Get it up out of that cut. And then when you go back, um, kind of ease it down so that if you if you go back don't just drop it in there and then start kind of ease it down in there gradually and you'll notice that every time I did that I think or I'm hoping that's what I should have done if I didn't I should have that if I'm gonna make this cut and I, I've already done this part then I'm gonna ease it down in there just a little bit at a time. But all in all, I'm not unhappy with that. I think that's a pretty good line considering this piece of crap material that I picked. <laughs> but I tried to pick something that was super difficult. So I don't know how close you can get in on that, babe. And you guys, again, you'll see imperfections in there. I'm not perfect. Uh, maybe some of you are. But uh, if you're looking for perfection, I'm the wrong guy to look for. I just try and give myself the best chance possible with the tools that I have and the material that I have. So I'm hoping that uh, that helps you guys. There's probably other tips that I could have thrown in there, but you know, watch more what I did than what I said. Um, I think I threw as many tips in there as I could think of, but there's probably a lot more just watching over and over. All right, sign cards of the day. I know we're running way late. Sorry, but um, that's something I've been wanting to do. All right, now this one, um, is really really cool it, I don't know if you're gonna be able to get close enough to read it um, but this is a uh, pretty uh, pretty cool it's the Second Amendment and it's made like a scroll and it's a beautiful piece of cedar who is it David Hedrick I don't know I'm reading it yeah oh <laughs> I don't know it, it's it, I wish the picture was a little bit better can you? Be able to see it. Oh, it's just amazing. I love the scroll work. I love the beautiful. fact that it's on a scroll. Beautiful piece of cedar. Yeah, Dave Hedrick. And it's uh, the Second Amendment, which is maybe my favorite. So we're all gun toting uh, Okies out here in Arizona. Open carry state. All right, now this one is really special. Josh Barlow. Josh did this with one hand uh, at four years old he had a stroke and he lost use of the left side of his body and he did this all with one hand um, obviously he does everything with with just the use of uh, his right hand which is just uh, amazing to me that's probably better than I can do with, do with two hands yes excellent job Josh all right, you guys, I hope that helps. Uh, questions, send me questions. Be happy to help. Um, uh, the premium membership, what? We're going to be out of this shop. Yeah, the premium membership, nah, it doesn't matter. The premium membership um, oh, is down shush. below. Uh huh. I just got shushed. You didn't get shushed. I'm shush just saying. Me. All right, Vicky's been wanting me to say this. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to be out of the shop. However, there is going to be a video on Friday. You guys are going to see that because we're going to film it beforehand and I'll post it on Friday. Um, but we won't be shipping any orders on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. That's so, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys. Um, have a great week. I hope you're having a great week. Hope you had a great Memorial Day. And uh, we will see you guys again. We'll be on the road, but we'll see you guys again. We're going to have a demo on Friday, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Bye.